Namaste. Welcome to Vedic Vidya. My name is Jeffrey Armstrong, Kavindra Rishi. Vedic Vidya is available exclusively on Chitty Media English Channel on Sunday nights at 7 p.m. IST. Our topic tonight is Who is Threatened by India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi? Who is threatened by India? Let's start there. Have they been waving nuclear weapons at the rest of the world? I don't think so. Have they dropped any on other cultures? No, not at all. Who did? Oh, the United States. Oh, okay. So, the United States is dangerous. But Narendra Modi hasn't been threatening the rest of the world since he's been in office. Now, it's true that I am not from India. So, I'm no expert on the politics internally. But I've been watching and paying attention, and I met Narendra Modi before he became Prime Minister. And I know his history. And by the way, if you think India has a caste system, would you explain to me why Narendra Modi's father was a, had a tea, cha, a tea shop? He was a chaiwala? Is, is that the caste that you're born into that makes you Prime Minister next? So, just a sidebar, but I'd like all people who think that India has a caste system to sit up and salute and say, oops, we were wrong. Because Narendra Modi has a completely unlikely parentage for becoming the prime minister. So, in case you haven't noticed, one thing that he does have is a profound character and depth of being and dedication to higher principles, to higher truths. Now, there are some people who are just afraid of anything other than their own viewpoint, or at least they speak badly of it. So the first thing I want to point out is that Narendra Modi is known for having a very high character, known for being a dedicated practitioner of the Hindu Dharma. But there's nothing in the Hindu Dharma that should make the rest of the world afraid. So why should they be afraid of India? Well, one reason would be because when Narendra Modi took office, he was the first Prime Minister of India to actually be Hindu Tva. Oh, I know, that's another demonized word. Ooh, Hindu Tva. Actually, Hindu Tva simply means a dedicated Hindu practitioner. I am one. I am Hindu Tva. Narendra Modi is the first leader of India for over a thousand years who was Hindu Tva. But the culture of India is Hindu, Vedic, Sanatan Dharma. So, he is actually the first leader in a thousand years that wasn't either colonizing or India under attack or India being fragmented by people from the outside coming in and attacking it, which is Muslims, Islam. Islam didn't come in as friends. They came in as Rapists, raping, pillaging, taking slaves, killing. They didn't come in in a friendly way. They're not indigenous to India. Christianity is the same way. Christianity has been colonizing India ever since the British took it over and acted as if they owned it for a couple of hundred years. Raping, pillaging, taking everything that they could. 
When I say raping, I mean just taking everything. Now that kind of behavior is something one should be afraid of. So yes, it's a good question. Why would we, why would anyone be afraid of Narendra Modi? Well, perhaps they think that he will be vindictive and then he'll come after them. Do we see any evidence of that? No. What do we see? That he's standing for the principles of the culture. Now, does, should that make people afraid inside of India? No, and why? Because the Vedic culture, the Hindu culture, treats everyone with respect, even if they disagree with them. So Christians are safe in India. Muslims are safe in India. As long as they're not violent and asserting themselves violently, anyone is safe in India. The philosophy of Narendra Modi is live and let live if you're here to live and let live. Hindu Tva is exactly that. It sees every living entity in the right way. But I'm prejudiced. I'm Hindu Tva. Sees everyone as an immortal being who has, if they're peaceful also, an opportunity to follow their own path. And this is the policy of Narendra Modi. He's the first for a thousand years, which means the prior rulers of India during the time of the British were puppets. They weren't really rulers of India. They were puppets of the British. And in fact, the accusations that Narendra Modi is RSS, well, I'm RSS too. Rastriya Swayam Sevak. The group, the group of people in India, the group of people in India who worked to throw the British out of their country. Wouldn't you throw a colonizer out of your country? So finally the British were thrown out, but it took a little while for the culture to become truly Hindu again in leadership. So, Anyone who's living in India, who doesn't want India to be Hindu, will say that they dislike Narendra Modi. Now, of course, every human being is perfect, so I can't go down and make a list of everything that he did and who am I to decide whether it was right or wrong. But I do know his dedication, and his dedication is to support the Vedic Hindu culture and to support all of the other people who are living in the culture of India now and lead them in a peaceful way toward living together. So anyone who has that purpose should not be afraid of Narendra Modi. They should be proud of him. They should be proud that he's so humble and so courageous and so clear and outspoken, but at the same time, he, he doesn't speak harshly to others and of others, and yet he's dedicated and determined and focused. He's of high character. This is what we hope to see. This is a role model for what we should see in a leader. And just as a side note, but Narendra Modi and India are using multiple modalities to deal with the current crisis of health that the world is experiencing. Why? Well, because the very basis of the culture of India is to have multiple modalities of science, from Ayurveda to yoga to diet to things that promote well-being to herbs to modern medicines to modern vaccines to ancient ways of healing. This is the most ancient culture on our planet and the most sophisticated. And it's having a renaissance and a revival and Narendra Modi is the leader of that renaissance. So perhaps you can imagine who will be afraid of that. Library burners, people of a religious perspective that is violent and wants to force itself upon others, those who are malicious in intention, those 
persons in Islam and Christianity who will use violence, who will pump billions of dollars into India to subvert its culture, those persons should be afraid. But not just of Narendra Modi, but of any honest, integrous prime minister of a country. And soon, hopefully, since I believe his last term of office is coming, someone like him will also continue. The responsibility of what? Of healing hundreds of years of colonial damage, of restoring the social environment in a world gone mad. I can give you an example of another person. I know that she is deeply connected with Narendra Modi. Just in spirit. And her name is Vandana Shiva. Vandana Shiva is one of the persons from India who are reminding the world that the agriculture that we're using right now is destroying our planet. Narendra Modi represents all of the modalities of living that are the essence of the Hindu way of living, which is to live peacefully upon the earth, to utilize the land correctly, to be in a right relationship with one another, to foster the growth and development of culture, of universities, of educational institutions, of learning, and to do so in a respectful and as far as possible nonviolent way. Narendra Modi has pulled away from the precipice of conflict and violent conflict carefully and yet been strong and held a boundary. This is a role model. This is someone who's showing us, and the word for that in Sanskrit is acharya. In his daily life, Narendra Modi gets up early in the morning, does dedicated practices of yoga and mantra meditation, and presents himself before the divine in the way that all true Hindus do. And then, before he starts his day, says, and may everything that I do this day be in service of divine intention. I know because I'm a yogi and I start my day that way, following in his footsteps. This is an acharya, someone who teaches by their personal example, not just by precept, but by their own personal life. He's powerful, humble, he's kind, he's intelligent and erudite, he's studied and learned, he's not from a family of power, Therefore, he's been brought in to personify the Vedic ideal that any person, through their merit, can rise to any position in society. Isn't this a lesson to democracy also? Right now, democracy in the West is threatened by billionaires and trillionaires whose wealth is giving them political power and influence. This is not what democracy is based on. It's not based on the abusive use of money and resources of that kind. And I know that Narendra Modi is the personification of using those resources in a way that benefits everyone. And the other thing that I know he has is a long view. He is playing the long game, which means he knows that his culture, that the Hindu Vedic culture, is having a renaissance and is being revived. So the people who are afraid of him are afraid of libraries, afraid of culture, afraid of diversity, afraid of biodiversity, afraid of ecology, afraid of speaking kindly of everyone, afraid of seeing everyone as an immortal being. What they're really afraid of many of them, is that when we do see a noble leader who's setting a wonderful example, then we can see the lack of those qualities 
in the world leadership around us. This is the Vedic way. You teach by your personal example. And when I met Narendra Modi, my wife Sandy and I went to Gujarat, met him when he was in charge of Gujarat at the time. But we immediately saw in him a humility, a directness, an honesty, a clarity, a kindness, and yet a strength, a leadership, and a charisma. And that word charisma comes from the word Krishna. That Krishna is visible in him because he is now a representative of what should have been the political leadership in India during the entire time of colonization, during the entire time it was being attacked from the outside. So he really is the leader of the Hindu Vedic Renaissance. Those who are the enemy of that sublime, beneficial, healing, and noble culture will consider themselves threatened by Narendra Modi. I personally am proud to have met him and watch him from a distance with great admiration. Jai Sri Krishna, Jai Sita Ram, Jai Narendra Modi. Keep up the good work and lead us to the next noble leader. Vedic Vidya means shining the light of truth. Tune in to Vedic Vidya on the Chitty English Channel Sunday night at 7 o'clock p.m. IST. My name is Kavindra Rishi, Jeffrey Armstrong. See you next time and have a Namas day. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanavad. Namaskar.